The former Israeli army conscript was hoping he could appeal his 18-month prison sentence for killing a wounded Palestinian attacker. But on Sunday, the court rejected El Orazaria's case and his statement that he had acted in line with defense doctrines. In January, the army medic was found guilty of shooting dead 21-year-old El Fatah Asharif, who had previously attacked an Israeli soldier with a knife. The Palestinian was lying on the ground, having been shot, and was unable to move. He was unarmed when Azaria shot him in the head in Hebron, the occupied West Bank in 2016. The high-profile case has been one of the most divisive trials in Israel's history. In one opinion poll, nearly half of Israeli Jews said any Palestinian attacker should be killed on the spot. The Palestinian government said the 18-month jail term had given Israeli soldiers a green light to kill with impunity. The chief judge in the case called Azaria's action a forbidden and immoral act. The case has fueled debate in Israel over when and how soldiers are entitled to use lethal force against attackers. Azaria's lawyers say he could now take the case to the Supreme Court or ask the President Rivlin to pardon him, absolving the sentence.